Welcome to the video from the Digital Lifestyle Com. We have a new build of Windows 10. This is 14926 from mobile. There's a PC version available as well, which I've done a separate video for. Um, in the PC one, I talked about the expiry, so I won't go too much in this one, but Microsoft and are expiring old builds. I don't really want this actually applies to mobile. I think it's more of a PC thing. But essentially, they want you to keep up to date with the latest builds and not stick on an old uh, Fast ring build, if you're on slow ring or at least preview, it doesn't matter. Okay, so what's actually changed in this? Well, there's a couple of new things, just like the PC build, and that is a new thing called snooze. So you go on here, you say snooze, and you can create yourself a reminder uh, to do something, so, so to read the web page or whatever. So if I recall, remind me to read that page, and I want that to do when a person rings, or an email when I get home, or work, or a time, I can say, uh, let's do it as a time, let's do it as 8.45, it should crop up in a couple of minutes. So I've created a reminder and I get prompted for that and uh, when I've been testing these reminders out, they um, go everywhere Cortana is, so if it's on your own PC it will appear on there, it's on the phone, it's on the Android phone, it's on my um, Android Wear watch, it goes everywhere. Okay, so we'll have a look at that reminder in a sec. So what else has changed? Um, the Wi-Fi settings have actually changed on here, so let's have a look at that. And we can trigger that by just going through here. So here's the new Wi-Fi screen. It is essentially the same as the PC version, rather than a sort of reskinned Windows um, Phone 8.1 screen. Oh, there you go, reminders are coming through. That was on my phone. By the phone, it'll, it'll come up in here in the moment. I'm starting to get reminders all over what I've been testing the, uh, the these new features. So, okay, what else? Um, yeah, Wi Fi, and it now looks like the PC, so uh, you can see the exact same screens and you can just connect to, to whatever you need. There is the old version still available. Uh, so, you see, you've got Wi Fi Legacy. So there's the old version. I think that's just while they're porting some things over. Uh, the f other things, they'd fix some uh, scaling issues on the 635, 636, 638. Uh, they improved the reliability of Edge on Facebook, Outlook.com and some other websites. Um, they fixed the result of the sound key press being barely audible. I don't really use uh, those uh, sound key events, but anyway, they've they were very quiet and they are uh, louder. Uh, they fixed an issue with Cortana crash when trying to open a reminders page. Uh, they fixed a VPN issue as well. The known issues are some devices like the 650 won't install and you'll get a, an error number and they're currently looking at that. Action Center no longer closes if you swipe up on an empty space area and using the phone as a mobile hotspot will work the first time but subsequent as event, attempts to use it will result in the inability to enable the hotspot on the phone so it's rebooted. So your hotspot's going to work and you have to reboot if you want to turn it on and off again later. Um, some of those reminders that you can see them all, uh, these are the ones that I set up, read this and uh, read this report and I can then go into that reminder and then uh, open that page or whatever it was that was coming up. So you can see all my, uh, all of my reminders there. So that's it really for the changes on the phone, not a huge amount, just the Wi-Fi really and the snooze. Uh, good to see these uh, continue, I think Microsoft are going to have quite a few new features really to the phone version before the Redstone 2 releases out. It, there is a, a lot of work to do to really differentiate this from the older versions. But anyway, you can look back at all the old videos on our YouTube channel of, uh, of, this, of Windows 10 Mobile right back to the very first preview. And the full notes are on the digitallifestyle.com.